y'all welcome back to another thrift haul here on my channel however today's thrift haul is going to be a collab with one of my favorite girly youtubers melissa's pink world she has the most gorgeous style i describe it as a mixture between girly and glam meets antique shabby chic i don't know but we have very similar styles so we decided to collab and show you guys some of the girly goodies that we found at our thrift stores recently so if you haven't heard of her already, I'll leave her channel linked down below as well as her Instagram and stuff so you can go binge watch all of her videos. I'm going to start with one of my favorite things that I found and that is this cute little planter. I've hauled the white version of this in a previous haul, um, however the pink one is my favorite. I've been looking for it for quite some time. I have a habit of searching for things like this on Etsy and then just like leaving them in my favorites but never wanting to purchase them because by the time shipping is added it's just a lot. So I found this one for three doll hairs and it is cracked. It literally looks like the head just fell off and they glued it back on but I personally don't mind for three dollars. It's not that serious to me but I think it's the cutest little thing ever. I don't know what it is about planters uh, like lamb planters baby planters or those lady heads that I just love so much next I have this adorable jewelry box it's a, like a music box as well you can hear it yeah so the inside is super clean I didn't look too deep into what year it's from but it does look like it has like a more vintage tag here and I did get it for four dollars so I love the little rose detail on the top as well. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well. And then it just has this mirror detailing. It just needs to be kind of cleaned up, but super cute. The next item I have are these ballerina slippers. I have been on the hunt for a pair to hang on my wall in my vintage room for quite some time. Very Gabby DiMartino inspired. These are pretty beat up and they're children's. Um, but like I said, I don't really mind that when you're collecting older things, like, they're going to be beat up. Um, but yeah, these were around $14, and I still just think they're so cute. Next, I have this adorable little mint green teacup. I thought this would look cute to set out somewhere around the house for right now during springtime. This was a few dollars, and I just really fell in love with the color on this little gold handle. It's just a really cute little piece. The next item I have seen a lot of people either haul or they already own it and I've seen it in like their um, room tours and stuff and that's this little mirror like this. I don't want to show the mirror but I love this little detail and it's got a little candlestick holder right here. I know that it's supposed to come with a pair but I only found this one and it was a $1.91. It's a little dirty but once it's cleaned up it'll be good to go and super cute ready to hang on the wall. So I do collect vintage Avon items, mainly perfumes and Bath and Beauty products, but I saw this. I'm not sure what this is. It's just a little jar. Um, I don't know what was supposed to be kept in here, but I love this little decal, this flower, this flower decal. I love those two colors together, that like periwinkle purple and the rose. So pretty. I do not remember how much this was. The tag is no longer on it, but it's by Avon. And I just think it's so cute. It has that, like, I don't know if this is actually milk glass, but it has that milk glass look to it. And then speaking of milk glass, I have this one as well. This one held foaming bath oil. And it still has a little bit inside, which is pretty gross. But I think this would look so cute with a little rose or a big pink flower hanging out of. This one was $5, and it's got that, like, hobnail milk glass design. And then I also got this one from the same section as this and she gave them to me two for five dollars now this one reminds me of i dream of genie meets like early 2000s i think it's so cute i'm not even sure what this design is but it says it was a cotillion cologne mist it just has like a little spray bottle here but i just love the look of this one and it has this like rubbery texture too so yeah i got both of these for five dollars and then I have one more Avon item. This one is a cologne mist as well. This one is probably my favorite. I think it's so cute. I love this color and just the shape of the bottle. I don't know. I think it's really cute. This one, I don't have the tag on it anymore, so I'm not sure how much it was. But as I've mentioned a million times before my thrift hauls, I collect 
fabric hangers, like silk pastel fabric hangers. So I found these two at my Goodwill. I've always gotten really lucky and been able to find mine at Goodwill. I know people have messaged me on Instagram asking like where I can get them because they can never, or where they can get them because they can never find any, but I just always find them at my, this one specific Goodwill. These were 59 cents each. It's weird how they price things. Sometimes they're 25 cents, other times they were 79 cents. I don't know, but I love this blue color. And then this one's like a really pretty pale baby pink. So yeah, definitely have a large collection of these now. And the last three items I have are some clothing, lingerie slash nightgown items. Um, I'll start with this one that I'm, I'm in love with this. It's by Oscar de la Renta. It's an adorable baby pink. It has these little sheer polka dots all over the whole entire nightgown with this cute little mesh triangle top. Super cute. I got this for $5 at a church charity shop. So yeah, I can't wait to add this one to my vintage nightgown rack, even though this isn't really vintage, but it's still super cute. And then another one that's not necessarily vintage, but cute, is this Fredericks of Hollywood little cami top. I don't know, I know that the name of these are like CH something, but I don't know how to pronounce it. But I love the little silk bow it has on the front. This is a size medium. I do have this one listed on my Poshmark, just in case, you know, someone wanted to pick it up for maybe their collection. But um, if it doesn't sell, I think it's so cute. And I cannot wait to add it to my nightgown rack. And then this last item I actually picked up on Poshmark, and I fell in love with it. It is a bed jacket. I do not know what year it's from. It's by the brand by Odette Barca for Lord Taylor. Okay, but it has this amazing lace all over it. And then my favorite little blue color, this little bow right here, and then some ribbon around the arms. So gorgeous. It's just so princessy. So that's everything I have to show you today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it inspired you to get out there and thrift and collect. Don't forget to check out Melissa's video. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.